Sometime in the 90s, my ex-wife Tamara Wilder and I um, started a business called Paleotechnics and printed this book, Buckskin, The Ancient Art of Brain Tanning. The original title was Wet Scrape Brain Tanned Buckskin, A Practical Guide to Home Tanning in Use. That was inspired by us being total geeks and reading like, you know, technical manuals from the turn of the century and stuff like that. We thought that title was really cool, but it didn't turn out to be that marketable. So we changed it to Buckskin, The Ancient Art of Brain Tanning. And um, it's quite the undertaking. It took about a year. That's about all we did for a year. And it's got tons of illustrations, lots of pictures. It's 290 pages. It covers, you know, a lot of stuff. Um, some like uses of the deer, there's appendixes and ideas of where to go from there, how to make hide glue, quite the undertaking. So I mentioned this in a video recently. And uh, what I didn't say is that it is almost out of print. So, I, th I pulled it off of Amazon because we were down to a few copies and I just figured I'd rather they went to, I want to, I want to save some for sure. I'm going to save like 20 or something. And then the rest, I just thought I'd make sure that they were at least purchased by YouTube subscribers and blog followers and stuff like that, or we sold them in person. So anyway, um, we're working on hopefully on reprinting this and you know, all bets are off when we'll do it for sure, but we're hoping to do it soon and get it back into circulation and then hopefully actually promote it a little bit because both of us are, are pretty bad um, at marketing. So I thought I'd show you some of the illustrations since I was flipping through them today, looking at those and looking at all the pictures and trying to start getting it together. The illustrations are partly done by me and partly done by Tamara. I think I pretty much did everything except the clothing and stitches and I think she did all the clothing and stitches. So this is one of hers. And these are done on vellum with the rapidograph. So vellum is this, you know, see-through paper and you take a regular piece of drawing paper and you draw the whole picture in pencil or whatever you're going to do and then you lay this over, tape it down and carefully draw it. And the pens are constant width pens and so they, each one has a constant width. You can't taper them or, you know, press harder or press lighter. You just set it on the line, you draw and then you pick it up and then you put it back down and you draw. And if you want a thick line, you pick a thick pen instead of, you know, pushing on it harder. It's not my favorite way to do illustrations, and I actually use um, feather pens and homemade ink now, like, like these kind of things here, which is much harder actually and more frustrating, but this is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It didn't fit, fit with my style very well, but the rapidographs are good for technical drawings because they look really clean, especially once these are shrunk. See, they look pretty clean here, but when you shrink them by 50% and they're only this big, all the imperfections just kind of fade away and they, they look really good when they're shrunk. For a lot of these, we actually, you know, we would get pieces of buckskin and, and make these stitches, just make like a little thing and set it there and, and, you know, use that as a model to make sure we were drawing it right. So, uh, interesting story on the clothing stuff. A student of ours back then that took the class, uh, she was 18, I believe, still in high school, and they had a primitive skills club at her high school. There was just a few, a few people. Uh, we're friends with all those people still. And they went, came and took a buckskin class, like how to tan buckskin. And she is now writing a book on like a big fancy book on making buckskin clothing. It's totally taken it to the next level. You know, a lot of our stuff was real basic with, um, you know, thong stitching and stuff like that. And she's also collected ideas and pictures and stuff from lots of other people, uh, other brain tanners and stuff. So that's gonna be really interesting. Her name is Wonia. There's a sharpening chapter. Um, that's a, that's quite a undertaking there. I remember it being quite the chore because like each thong has to be a different kind of hatch mark or stipple or whatever. This is a cool one. I got a, had to actually get a deer leg and kind of like skin it out and draw it. Different kinds of scraping tools. Um, Primitive scraping tools. This is my favorite. 
yeah, this this is definitely my favorite illustration from that. It had all these bones, so I you know I I set them up and drew them like that. And this looks really good when you shrink it down. I mean, it looks good now, like these lines are really close, but when you shrink it, it it's yeah really pops. So all these will be scanned again, um, fresh scans and shrunk and you know fixed if they need any fixing but they should be pretty much good to go they've already had you know little bits of white out and stuff wherever they were needed this is probably my favorite second favorite uh at least i remember drawing this and really really enjoying drawing it and having it turn out pretty much just just what i wanted it to be so there you go Hopefully that thing will be back in print soon, but you know, she's busy though and I'm busy and it's just, yeah, it's hard to say for sure when it's gonna happen.